My video for October 19th, 2019 is video number 3,241. The title is Donald Trump seems to scare the deep state. <laughs> yes, the very fact that so many of the deep state players are against him makes him that much more credible to those of us who are tired of the broken promises of the politicians on both sides of the aisle. The very idea of a one world government is insane. Human rights would be eliminated completely if the charlatans that have been steering the ships of state could finally reach their goal of total control of the human population. As I keep saying, it is his alignment with some of the money changers that give me pause. That said, I cannot think of any other American politician who shows more promise than him. Ironically, it was his role in the TV show, The Apprentice, that he hosted for 14 seasons that gave him the recognition that enabled him to overcome all the deep state obstacles and actually beat that traitor, Hillary Clinton, in the election. That's why his election derailed many of the nefarious plans of the dark side to control humanity and eliminate what these maniacs term useless eaters. Unfortunately, many of those so labeled are brainwashed and actually pushing for the demise of useless eaters as the elite see them. <laughs> yeah, The Apprentice, you know, he, it was his TV show that gave him the face and name recognition that he needed to win the election. And it's ironic that the, the elite establishment that is in charge of the media that created Donald Trump as a well-known figure, <laughs> they are now totally opposed to Donald Trump and want to see him They'd like to see him killed, actually, but at the very least, they'd like to see him removed from the office of president. They are trying desperately to get him out of that office, which, again, makes people like me say, wait a minute, why are they so afraid? Well, they're so afraid because they, the elite, are known pedophiles, and they're trying to make pedophilia okay. You abusing children, not just sexual abuse, but murdering children and drinking their blood. These are things that are part of the elite establishment, and they use sex to, uh, I was going to say to brainwash, but that's not the word that I'm looking for, to control uh, you know, they get them in, they entrap them by doing things sexually, often with minors, that would compromise them. And then to keep their name clean, they get them to do what they want them to do. They being the elite establishment of what I consider demonic elements. Now, some people would say, Ron, you're being too extreme to think of them as demonic. But they have no empathy. Who of us who that has not been brainwashed as a human would lack empathy. A psychopath seems to lack empathy. And these people are psychopaths. We came, they died. What difference does it make to quote Hillary Clinton? And yet these same people want to control everybody else and they want to reduce the world's population down to a manageable half billion people, which means they want to get rid of most of the world's population. Folks, don't you realize that most of the world's population, all of the, virtually all of the third world with a very small percentage of exceptions would be considered useless eaters? Don't you realize that most of the people in this country that are poor and struggling are considered useless eaters. These are the people that are brainwashed into thinking that by supporting the liberal thing, they're going to get more handouts. That's a deception, folks. And we need to wake up to the point that we can see through the lies and, de 
and have enough discernment to recognize the liars. Now, I'm not about to say that Donald Trump is a perfect example of someone who has lived his life uh, with honor and dignity in every phase. He has, he's, the, he's a master of the art of the deal. Perhaps that is exactly the kind of person we need as humanity to be in a position as president of the United States. We need someone who knows how to make deals. And he has tried to make deals with third world countries and with uh, people around the world. Some of the deals that he's made, I wouldn't necessarily agree with him, but a lot of it is said to be a smoke screen. And again, uh, they say he's going to kick out Pence as his running mate and uh, put a Kennedy in uh, as his running mate for the next, his next election in 2020. Now, I don't know if that's true. I don't know what he's going to be able to accomplish. I do recognize that a lot of the deep state players are aligned against him, trying to get him impeached and out of office, if not murdered. And he needs a lot of protection and a lot of prayers because at least he's offering us an alternative to the corruption that we have seen under the Bush and Clinton and, and Obama regimes. And we might be able to restore some sanity to the human race if we would let him play out some of these roles, including the arrest of, of the hundred and some odd thousand, hundred and thirty thousand or whatever it is, sealed indictments of these deep state players, some of whom are singing like birds and blowing the whistle to try to at least get some leniency in, in their own sentencing as they point their fingers at other people. So there's a lot of uh, corruption and a lot of fear going on in the deep state itself. And that is indicative to me that they're scared. And it's why Nancy Pelosi and others are railing against Donald Trump. And I'm glad that this uh, Baltimore congressman that's been in, a con I don't remember how, but he's been in Congress for a long time, a black man who was one of the most liberal people on the, in the whole uh, House of Representatives, he finally died. And some see that as an act of God finally taking out one of the voices uh, of, of liberalism that takes down, uh, it is part of the deep state agenda is what I'm saying. And they're being brought down, I hope, I hope that's true by Donald Trump and people like Vladimir Putin who changed the Soviet Union and, and brought some sanity to modern day Russia. And of course, the Ukraine was part of the deep state agenda. That's why uh, Biden's son was so aligned and what's what, that's what all that controversy is about, of about the deep state players, Biden included and his son and, and others, they have their hands dirty, folks, and they're scared. And there needs to be an awakening. The truth needs to come out. It's going to hurt some people because they have hidden behind a shield of lies and masqueraded themselves as people of goodwill, but they're not. What is Donald Trump? He may be a man who is literally draining the swamp. And if he is, we need to give him applause, not be throwing rocks at him and trying to take him out as the guilty deep state players seem to be doing. Will we awaken? Will we have the world turned around so that humanity has a chance of not only surviving, but thriving? That's what I'd like to see for all of humanity, including the deep state players if they repent. Anyway, folks, thank you for listening and namaste.